what has Mr. Rasmus or Barden offered that sets them apart from other teachers? E.g., how have they provided misses, missing pieces or new ways of looking at existing models, Aaron, for you? First of all, it's been um, the language that Mark uses, very um, more Western terminology and applying the practicality to these teachings rather than just a lot of it's intellectual. Mark actually applies it um, to actually touching people and due to the, the, the interaction with the other person, that is what really gave me that feeling of, of, okay, there is this energy because when you're working by yourself, there is obviously these subtle feelings, but you don't really know if you're imagining it or if something's actually happening. But then due to Mark's teachings and, and following his course and then realizing that there's an interaction between two bodies when you touch, there's an energy transfer as such. And that was sort of very um, eye-opening to me to realize the, not only do we have interactions with people when we're hanging out with a friend, we breathe the same, you know, we tend to adopt the same postures, but also in the same when we start doing internal work, we start to find that the person we're working with starts to um, respond to our internal changes. And that for me, being able to change your own internal structure or even your internal thinking and to have an external change in another person, that was what I think when Mark sort of brought that out to me, I was like, there's something about this guy that's teaching things that other people aren't teaching. And it was also the way that um, he talks with such conviction that this isn't just something that, you know, he's, he's dabbled with. This is something that he knows as a fact. And the way that he presents it is very authoritative and very convincing to me. And when you apply his work, you find that it, it does exactly what he says. Bill, you're muted. Thank you for that. Um, yes, no, absolutely. Like, I think being satisfied, like that there's something going on and that you're able to produce an effect and also make it somewhat objective by sharing it with other people. When I learned how to float someone just from very closely watching Mark's videos, and then I'd go up to someone and say, hey, I'm broken. You just stand there and put your hands out. Diddly doodly do. Next thing you know, he's like, whoa, wait a minute. What the heck's going on here? And it's like, oh, that's interesting. And then another person, then another person. Yeah, for me, being satisfied, very, very important. Okay, would anyone else like to jump in on this one? This is um, basically what has Franz Barton or also Mark Rasmus brought to the table that maybe others haven't. Um, so I'll just leave that one out there. Who would like to go next? Um, yeah, I can go. Um, basically, I think sim similar to Aaron, um, you know, first of all, finding finding uh, Franz Barden's work was a huge relief um, to fill that gap. That search was uh, was satisfied and the feeling that there was no longer waiting for the guru to give me the next step, um, that it was all there. So that's a huge, huge, huge relief to have all that work there and know I just had to do it. Now it was just my self responsibility to get on and do it. Um, and then with Mark, I first met Mark in 2012. Um, and that was huge because I, I had been emailing Mark and even emailing with Mark had, had already helped me uh, with various challenges that I was having. And again, like Aaron said, it's, it's like, um, I was understanding things in my own way, but Mark comes along and gives you it in very plain language, and, you know, very relatable language that I can understand. And then, of course, with that added body aspect, no longer is it just theory. You can go, well, this is what it feels like. You know, this word means this. And then you can go, oh, and then, and, and this one means this. And then you can feel the difference and the quality difference between these terms that people throw around. So that was huge. So once you get a physical experience of these things, suddenly your ability to work with them increases, you know, many fold, almost immediately for me anyway, and I think for others. Uh, so I think that's the, the gift that Mark has given to many of us is that he's, he's made this stuff um, not theoretical or, or someday, one day. He's made it almost immediate when you work with someone who can work with the body. Yeah, wonderful response. I really enjoy the body work, actually, um, because I just 
I've got more juice to play with. There's more quantity, um, plenty of quality, but lots of quantity with doing the workouts and that. And uh, thank you so much for that. Great response. And uh, David, um, what would how would you comment on the question of what has Barden, and I'm not sure if you're aware of Mark Rasmus's work, but how has Barden sort of like brought things that others haven't to the table? Well, I'm not aware of Mark's work very, very well. I'm not really aware of other people's work, unfortunately. Um, but okay. about Franz Barden, um, there's just so much. Um, but I would say being brief, clarity, mm. practicality, mm. Um, and a stripping away of a lot of the unnecessary ceremonial stuff that's not really what hermetics is really all about, presenting hermetics in a, uh, um, a simpler, purer form than it had been um, before him. And in terms of um, what comes to mind right immediately is uh, evocation. Like, he's the first person I think that I'm aware of, you know, I haven't read everybody, but he's the first one that really tells you how to do it and explains what a successful evocation looks like. The rest of the stuff is very hidden um, until he comes along around evocation. It's very couched and you're given the ceremonies and the rituals and all of the symbols and stuff in all of these grimoires, but nobody is actually talking about how it's done. And then he comes along and he puts it down um, in black and white for people. That was huge. And personally for me, um, there was just this phrase, synthetic astrology, that was just like a, a, an igniting fuse for me, um, personally, it just went boom. And I was like, what is that? That's what I'm doing, whatever it is, <laughs> that's, that's it, right? Um, but it was just two words. Um, so for me, that, for everyone else, just an immeasurable amount, I gotta say, <laughs> like, it's just immeasurable. Hmm. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I've got to say, like, um, you know, there's so much depth in all of that set of books and, you know, the books around it as well. Uh, but um, uh, right, let's keep things shifting. So I've got, uh, sorry, I'm getting my, my live stream chops up while we're doing this. So the next person I'm going to pass this to is Victoria. How, what, what has uh, Barden and or Mr. Rasmus brought um, that you think others haven't? So I'm, I'm aware of Mark Rasmus, but I haven't worked with any of his material yet, but I know he's had a, a fantastic influence on several of my magician friends and people I know. So I hope to meet him one day. Um, I've had a couple of dreams of him where his presence is just very uh, awe-inspiring in my dreams. Every now and then you'll meet a person in real life too that you know is an addict and just their presence alone kind of leaves you in awe because you can observe that without them even having to say something. You just recognize someone um, as they are. Uh, but for Franz Barden, uh, something I kind of harp on over and over again is appreciating the, the self-initiatory path and putting everything in your own hands. Um, I was part of a, of a system and an agriculture based out of uh, Japan, very esoteric, uh, very deep uh, energetic training, um, but eventually, and this was for a lineage of um, like a samurai lineage. And eventually my teacher who also uh, introduced me to Franz Barden told me that my path is that of the Ronin and not a samurai. So the Ronin is in Japanese lore, basically a samurai without a Lord. Like you have to forge your own path. You have to do your own thing. So I had the, um, the experience of meeting great adepts and a grandmaster and teachers who could do amazing things to have that exposure, but then realizing I have to go and forge my own path. Uh, similarly, like Artemis, the goddess of the hunt, um, she's a very independent female archetype. And that archetype has also been uh, heavy in creating my own my own path and trajectory in life. Like I grew up on an Indian reservation. I bust out of there. I made my own path uh, through several different dimensions. And I like Barton as someone who's interested in esoteric work because again, it lets you put it all in your own hands. 
You don't have to be sitting at a temple or with the masters or with a certain community where they, you know, you have the gradual exposure where, okay, at one year you can go to the next degree. At the second year you can do this. Maybe after five years you can do that. With Barden, it's really about your own chutzpah, your own application, your own desire, uh, your own self-management. Uh, so what I like about that is you don't have to wait for anyone inside of divine providence giving you approval. If you take it upon yourself to do it, if you apply yourself, if you want it, you can work towards it and you can cultivate everything that Barden provides. Wonderful response. Yeah, I, I love this sort of, you know, uh, I don't know. It seems like there's less middlemen involved with this path. Uh, if I say it like that, you know, like you, it's a very much about a direct connection and, um, you know, uh, it's, it's wonderful. So yes, thank you. Wonderful response. And, uh, Bob, uh, what would you, how would you respond to what has, uh, Mr. Barden and or Mr. Rasmus offered that sets them apart from others. And I know obviously you have a deep connection with both of these people. Yeah. Um, we're really two things that, you know, I, I agree with everyone else, everyone else's points, by the way. Um, Barden provided structure and Mark provided a vocabulary. You know, as, as a practitioner, we often run into these things where something happens, right? You're not exactly sure what it is. Is it good for me? Is it bad for me? Is this important? Is this something just kind of weird happening off here to the side? And Barden provided the structure for how things fit together but Mark had the ability to explain it. You know, okay, poor breathe. All right, vital force. Okay, got it. Hold your breath. Wait. Oh, okay, astral energy. And that allowed allows for people to understand the experience as it's happening. Whereas without that structure and vocabulary, things are really confusing and take a really long time to figure out. And, uh, you know, I think because of his background in teaching martial arts, Mark got very good at saying, don't do this, just do that. And that allowed for a real dialing down on, you know, what are we really dealing with here? Um, and for that, I'm grateful. I mean, you know, Rasmus is uh, ground zero for any number of modern high level practitioners. Uh, including a lot of people out there who don't admit that he was their teacher. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, so it's, uh, it's really interesting that one man, you know, operating where he is, uh, has had that huge an influence on the community writ large. And uh, for which we are, I'm personally grateful because my meeting with him was strictly karma. You know, I, I live in the rural mid-Atlantic, which is a fancy way of stating in the middle of nowhere in the east coast of the U.S. And the fact that he showed up in the nearest town to me doing a Qigong seminar in 2014 is just absolutely bizarre. You know, so. But no, uh, both instrumental and both providing a way of defining things that make them accessible. That's what I'd say. 